All right, what's going on everyone? Welcome to stop number three of the dealer tour. We're here at Hall's Arrow in Connecticut. What town are we in? Keep talking. So we are here. It's a super awesome, huge historical shop. They have been here since like the 1950s. Um, Butch Johnson has been out of the shop, which is like a four-time Olympian. He's won a bunch of medals, I think silver and gold. So anyways, super awesome shop. We're gonna dive right in, check out the history, and see what they're all about. Where are we at? Manchester, Connecticut. Manchester, Connecticut. And uh, and this is the final stop of the East, but uh, let's go check it out. So yeah, so we do all our youth programs out of here. Um, of course, Karen Scavato, she was on the Olympic team. She shot here. Roxanne was on the world team. We had uh, Allison Laurenti, she was on a world team. So we've always had, you know, high caliber archers come through shoes. through the years. So. so yeah, so we do all the programs here. When we do a tournament, we can actually accommodate 54 shooters at once wow. like between the two rooms. rooms. Oh, yeah. wow. So, you know, four people do a bail like right. you normally would. Way back in the day, this actually, this room was a pool hall for a hmm. while. Oh, awesome. And really? there used to be a door there where you couldn't get into the shop. Uh -huh. Well, then the pool hall left and we expanded out yeah. into this to make nice. the range a little bit bigger. So, yeah, that was the, uh, the, the first part from there back is what we had. 1969, Jim Plume. Oh, wow. First 300. First, first 300. 300. That was probably on a single spot. Yep. Yeah, oh, that's no how they way. were back then. Wow. Never even had they weren't shooting good enough to shoot a <laughs> yeah. five spot. Are you kidding me? So we do a lot of our bow work here. So a lot of the accessories are there. This is our trial range. Okay. So we got all our package bows over here. My big three is over there with a couple like in between. Um, so the trial range is about seven yards. That one's automatic too. Nice. So basically, we got a, a nice little area where they can come down and yeah. try the bows out and um, see how they feel and um, get them going. Broadheads, recurve bows. So we do a lot of recurves, obviously, with recurves. our youth program yeah. and stuff. So yeah, walls of fame. This is my fletching area. Yeah. So we got you know basically all the veins. All the fletchings, all my arrow shafts, you can go back. Oh, okay. All the shafts are back there in the corner, all in bins, so you can see exactly oh, yeah. what we got. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Super organized. So this is uh, another walk-up range. Uh, so probably like five or six years ago, I said that when Archer was kind of in its heyday there mm -hmm. for a while. Yeah. We were running into times where the automatic range was packed, like really? full, and people were waiting and waiting and waiting to shoot. So we have the dark system that's down there, which I'll show you is, yeah, is I don't know open is. right now. So what we did is we actually put our screen so we could open the screen up and we hid bales behind it. So we okay. can actually open the screen and we could have shooters back here. Okay. So we call this the VIP room. Oh, so right. you get it like, you know, it's nice and quiet. Uh, right. You know, you're, mm -hmm. you're away from the crowd. Yeah, this would be nice. So hmm. all my camp arrows, all those oh, wow. shells were Jeez. full all the way down to here. Of arrows. So when what I started arrows this year, those? those are fiberglass. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Arrows. We Easy to find in the woods, too. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We, yeah. Uh, we make a lot of them. Um, actually, I got a, a deal with Easton a couple of years back where they're actually making a good chunk of ours now to take some of the pressure off. Oh, wow. So, yeah. And then there's our dark screen. And the projector and everything is right there. And then it's like automated and you just shoot at it or yeah. what? It's yeah. video. Like, oh, it was, and then I'll show you the arrow. Are those all arrows too? Hmm? Are those all arrows back there too? No, these are all bows. And I haven't, oh. even, I haven't even gotten my shipment for the year. Wow. My shipment was supposed to be here in April. For um, yeah, more arrows here. All our target faces. You know, some more bows. Wow. Target faces, cases. They got a lot scooters. of inventory. Yeah. yeah. A lot of it. I never even knew this whole half of the shop was back. So yeah, and then this is all our inventory. There's some camp orders getting ready to be picked up. Releases and sights. Arrows. Wow. All down through here. Target faces. Oh, oh yeah. You know, the uh, yeah. four targets. No. We do a few of the animals. We do tons of the dinosaurs. And you stuff make these? Camps. No, they're actually made like 20 minutes from here. Oh, okay. Yep. This is like walking down one And then this is our bottom. shipping area. Yeah. And then a lot of this aisle is our, you know, camp supplies, the finger oh. tabs, the arm guards, the yeah. sites. So you guys are like logistics and shipping stuff out? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we've got a bunch here ready to go. This is where I don't mind the mess, spend most of my time. Yeah. Come and cry. 
Cry. I'm a cry corner. I'm on bow. Ready to do damage, hopefully. Um, right. This is a like pulley system that brings the targets back and forth, so uh, like you can shoot at your own pace and you don't have to wait for the people next to you, but if you look up here, they used to keep track. They used to keep track when they like replaced these cables and stuff. You can see it says 75, 75, 77, 78. It's awesome. So you'll switch this and then the target will come back. probably started shooting when I was about four or five years old. Uh, my father was a competitive archer for years and years, uh, starting way back in the late 70s, early 80s. He actually grew to be world champion for a number of years, shooting compound fingers, and then he quickly switched in 92 once they started allowing professional art uh, athletes for Olympic Games competing with an Olympic recurve. Um, and then of course since then he's five-time Olympian with a gold and bronze medal. Um, so that really definitely got me the, the niche into shooting long, long ago. I actually grew up in the Vermont area and then uh, Art Hall who started this company for about a year gave me the full court press to come down. He wanted me to work. He's like, come down and work for me, come down and work for me. Um, so I tried it. I told him I'd give it a try just to appease him and I never went back. <laughs> so I've been here ever since. Art Hall was known for his custom arrows. He was actually one of the first people in this area to actually spine arrows. So back then, predominantly, everything was cedar shafts. Um, so he was actually taking the cedar shafts and had made a spine tester and actually spining them out, weighing them out. So people came to him for their arrows because they knew when they got a set of arrows that they were all you know, match grade, so to speak. They were all gonna be the same weight. They're gonna be the, you know, the same spine. Um, he started the business out of, uh, out of his house in Columbia, um, just making his custom arrows. And then he slowly bought it, uh, brought in uh, recurve bows from bowyers that were in the area that he had connections with. Um, he was actually a very integral part of the NAA back in the day. It took only about probably three, four years um, where he decided he really had to expand. Um, and then that's when we moved to the current location that we're in now. And we've been in this location for like 60, 65 years. For a while, we were actually one of the largest JOAD programs in the country. Uh, most kids I think we've ever had, um, with a couple adult classes, uh, probably about 230 people a week. Um, usually on average on a non-COVID year, we're probably running about 175 to 200 you know, people a week through the classes. Just ticked over to one o'clock, we so we've been we've been tired. advertising that like one o'clock people can come and shoot and hang out. So there's a couple guys here. But we're gonna shoot. We're gonna hang out. Have a good time. Dinner. We'll bet dinner on. Oh, there we go. There, dinner. We'll bet dinner. All right. Nine. X. X. X, X, 10. I'm leading by three. Let's go. Ooh. First nine. Is that the roll for Vegas? No, you can shoot whatever roll, really. Ooh. Oh, man. Update, the reason why there was no rhyme or reason as to where my arrows were hitting is because my windage was loose. This guy was loose, so it was flopping all over. Jesus. We're still dropping nines like flies though, so. X, 10, 9, 10, 10, 9. One more? Yeah. Moment of truth. So then Man, we, are we, not we, we were not doing good. Tie, are we going by axes or uh, a shoot Single arrow shoot off. Thousand percent. Oh, 
I'm thinking for dinner tonight, Ruth Chris, five star steakhouse, maybe some like, what is it called, surf and turf? Might get a lobster tail. What do you think, Chris? <laughs> All I know is you can scratch this one up for Colby. It might be a while for another, another matchup. Colby did win. I ended up, I kept shanking him way to the right. I don't know what was up with that. Seriously, look at this. Right, 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 right. So we got two, Colby shot 297, 14X. Like, actually pretty good groups all together, especially for hunting bow. Two, I shot 294 with 12X, and I just fell apart the second time. You can see, 9999. I shot a nine every end and two in the last end. So I don't know what's going on with that. But I ended up, I started shanking them every single one just straight right. So if I were to be analytical about this, I definitely would dive into that more. I was aiming right here. Yeah, you, Colby ended up aiming way far left because his sight was all messed up. And I'm at like 26 yards right now. So we're going to have to redo my sight tape or something. We're going to have to redo it. Probably at like Corbin's or something. All right, everyone. We are wrapping up here. We just got done shooting, hanging out with everyone. Um, super awesome. Halls Archery. Very, um, just tons of heritage. I mean, they've been around since the 50s. And this dealio out here is so cool if we ever in a situation where we have a range this is this is going in it this is just awesome you can stand here hang out and whatever but uh where are we going next uh we have a 7 p.m flight to san antonio and an 8 a.m podcast at leading edge archery tomorrow so we have to get on the road chris is buying us some lobster tail at the airport tonight I don't know how healthy it's gonna your be or good lobster, lobster tail at the airport is, but it's probably gonna be dinner's on Chris tonight, so we're eating good. <laughs> All right, we'll catch you guys in the next one.